In our last sketch, we used PWM or pulse width modulation and analog right to achieve a fading effect with an LED. This time we're going to use PWM to drive a small hobby servo. A servo motor can be positioned to a specific uh, position. So typically in a 180 degree arc. So from zero, uh, minus 90, or positive 90, so 180 degree. This particular servo here is small enough that we can drive it directly from the Arduino uh, I.O. pin uh, and the five volt power supply on the Arduino. Uh, if you were going to use a bigger servo or a DC motor, you would need to use an external power supply and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So for this one here, what we do, we connect it up, we have the three wires that come out of a servo we have got the uh, dark wire here which is the negative or ground wire we've got the red wire here which is the positive power and we have the yellow which is the signal so what i need to do is take the negative wire here unplug our arduino and i need to plug that into the ground pin I take the positive wire here, plug that into the five volt power supply on the Arduino, and I take the signal signal wire, and I need to plug that into one of the pins that I can use with pulse width modulation. So if you remember, it's one of the pins that have that tilde symbol next to them so 10 11 or 9 or 3 5 6 so we're going to use pin 9 so now that's attached i can plug my arduino back in and i'm going to now load up the sketch Okay, so we're just about to load our first sketch up to use the servo with our Arduino. Uh, this sketch here I quickly wrote up just to show um, how the positioning works with the servo. So if we look at the loop section here, just got three different positions that I write in to the servo object here. Um, so just um, we're going to go into this section a little bit later. Um, but up here we include the servo library so i'll explain that later and in the setup area we create a servo object here sorry we create a servo object outside of the setup area here and then within the setup we um, attach the servo object to pin 9 on our arduino so in this loop set section here you can see we um, we can make use of the write function within the servo library um, so any function now within the servo library we can use with our my servo object um, because we have then created that object to use any any function within the servo library so this first piece of code here writes the position zero to the servo and then we have a delay of one second and then we write the, the position of 90 with another delay of one second and then we finally write the position 180 with a further delay so let's load that up and watch what happens so you can see what's happening here is we've got the servo that is finding three positions so there are three positions that are being sent via the signal pin, the signal wire on the servo. So it's driving it from uh, three different positions in a 180 degree arc. So what's actually happening here is with the use of pulse width modulation, we have a 20 millisecond cycle. Within that 20 millisecond cycle, we have a high pulse for an, a 
specific amount of time. So this first one here, we have a one millisecond pulse for the 20 milliseconds, which drives the servo to the position of negative 90. We have a 1.5 milliseconds pulse for the 20 millisecond, which takes it to zero position. And then we have a two millisecond pulse for the 20 millisecond cycle, which takes it to the positive 90 degree position. What I'm going to do now is load up our second piece of code here, which will um, drive this ser servo in a sweeping action. Okay, and now for the second piece of code that we're going to use with our Arduino and our servo. Uh, this one called Servo Sweep, uh, written by um, Bar Baragan and modified by Scott Fitzgerald. And we include the servo library for this sketch as well. Now just a note there, with without this servo library, it would be very difficult to use a servo with our Arduino. Uh, so within this servo library here, um, there is a, quite a lot of code, quite a lot of complex code that allows us to use the, the servo. Uh, the servos are quite complex things and they require complex understanding of the timings. So I'll just skip over here and show you some of the files in the, um, the servo library. So here we have the servo.h file that we include with our sketch and you can see it's quite complex bit of code and that also references other parts of code so the cpp file that it goes along with that servo.h file very complex so we don't have to write any of this fortunately we can just use any of those functions within that library by including that library at the top of our, our code here. So uh, one good thing that makes it easier for us to use a servo motor with our Arduino. Um, so just underneath that include, we have uh, this piece of code here, servo my servo. So what we're doing here is actually creating a servo object called my servo. Um, so that we can use that object with any of the functions within the servo uh, library here. So underneath that, we have a, a variable um, position, um, and we set that position to zero. So that's a variable of type integer. And then in our setup, what we're doing here is attaching our servo to pin nine on our Arduino using the attach function within the servo library. And our loop should look very, very familiar because this is basically uh, the same uh, setup that we used in our previous lesson with the uh, LED fade. So once again, here we have two for loops. So we have the first for loop has a range from 0 to 180 and it steps in increments of 1. So it goes from 0 to 180 in steps of one and for each of those set steps what it does is it writes the position to the servo so it takes the position from each iteration of the loop and writes it to the servo so basically on the first step it would write the position zero and then one two three four until it got got up to one 180 uh, and then there's a slight delay to allow that servo to get into each position. Once it's finished that, that for loop, so once it reaches 180, it finishes, goes on to the second for loop. And on this second for loop, we are going from the range from 180 down to zero. So that's the reverse of what we had here in steps of negative one. So it's stepping down. And for each step within that uh, for loop so each iteration it writes the position to the servo once again and we have a slight de delay now just before we go and load up that code onto our Arduino device just want to show you a couple of things so on the Arduino website 
uh, we have a reference for the servo library so that's worth having a look at um, it, it uh, outlines the functions that are available within that library and gives you a little bit of an insight into the library um, the um, site here uh, electricaleasy.com um, we have a really good description of how a servo motor works so you'll get an understanding of the internals of a servo motor with the gearing and feedback loops etc and this link is in the documentation that's attached to this lesson um, so we'll go back over and now load up that uh, code onto our Arduino So here you can see that the servo is sweeping back and forward in a 180 degree arc. Now, as I said before, we can uh, power this via an external power supply and not via the 5 volt outlet on the Arduino. So I'm going to do that now. I disconnect the Arduino. And what I want to do here is disconnect the positive uh, wire from the servo but I still let I can still leave the um, the ground wire attached and the uh, signal pin and here's my external power supply so I have got a, um, a four AA battery power supply which delivers six volts um, and I've got the positive end here, the negative end here, and what I want to do is I want to take the uh, the negative side and plug that into ground as well. So we can plug it into the second ground pin here, or you can take the ground pin from the Arduino and plug that in to connect the ground all the ground wires and then plug the other jumper back into the Arduino here so what we have here is we have all grounds connected and then all I need to do from here is take the positive wire from our servo and plug that into the positive end of the battery so now the servo is attached to our external power supply um, but our servo is not moving at the moment it does make a movement when I connect the power but it's not moving in our sweep and the reason is because the Arduino is not connected yet so there's no signal coming from the signal pin but once I connect the Arduino up then you can see that the servo starts to sweep again, this time powered from the external power supply.